Hey, this is Jamie. So my neighbor called me, contacted me, and told me there was a humming sound behind his house, and he said there was a lot of bees. So uh, I came down and knew it was my bees. They had swarmed out. They were on his lawn. And anyway, I just set a box down in front of them, and they are just going in uh, as hoped. So apparently they've been here since yesterday afternoon. Just look at them go. I'm going to add another box now. Because um, they're going to fill that right up. So you can see that. Here comes the second box. And I'm going to spray a little lemongrass oil in there. There was some in there anyway. That I had put in the other day in case there was some swarms. But there you go. Let's watch this for a minute. Watch this merge into this box. That is a big, big swarm. Huge. Look at them go. I don't know where the queen is. She'll be pretty hard to spot. I wanted to do a Facebook Live event, but I wanted to capture this before. It was over. <laughs> Let me come around from a different way. Thousands and thousands and thousands of bees. As you can see my knee, I'm completely unprotected. The bees, uh, when they swarmed out of the parent colony, they left behind uh, queen cells, uh, a lot of cap brood, and before they left, they filled themselves with honey. Uh, they're gorged, and uh, they uh, so they'll be able to build new comb in there right away. They'll be able to survive for a few days being gorged and uh, and uh, yeah, here we have a, a new colony. So this is how they multiply, they divide in nature. Are you allergic? Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, that was, that's a lot of bees. That's, that could be 40,000 bees. I mean, that's almost a whole colony. Yeah, uh, they're bigger. They're twice the size, twice the th or three times the size of this. But, I mean, that's a massive amount of bees. That's got to be... That's got to be 40,000 bees. That's not escape from yours. That's another... That's an escape from mine, yeah. Mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> they're not escapees they the the hive was so productive and now that the nectar flow has sworn down uh they're like hmm there's only so much food and there's a lot of us we gotta we gotta branch off and start on, on, off on our own so they leave they had planned this you know probably a week or so ago um they stopped feeding the queen, allowing the queen to eat so she could shrink down and fly with them. And then uh, 
they made sure that she laid eggs in queen cells so they there would be like five or six or more queen cells there ready to hatch and as soon as they're capped that means that's day six uh in in eight days those cells will hatch then that those queens will emerge one will survive after a duel she'll come out in may and if she makes it back that heart hive will continue and these bees here if they went into an old hive they could use the old comb or if they went into a new tree they would have to man manufacture new comb so before they left they um, filled themselves with honey because they need to start building comb immediately start feeding the queen immediately and um, so she can start laying eggs because the first new bee to emerge will be 21 days after that first day egg is laid and these bees only live six weeks so they need to have their replacements real soon so it has to happen fast yeah well they live six weeks in the summer and when they're uh in the winter when they're semi you know dormant or when they're dormant they can live up to six months <laughs> So there was no way I was going to find her. So that, this is a, does that, so this has, this box, it's been used before, so the bees, you know, recognize it, that there's, you know, there's certain smells in there. Plus, I sprayed it with lemongrass oil and sugar mixture, which they absolutely love. And that's a, that's a huge attractant. Actually, I had sprayed that the other day so that swarms would be, if anybody was swarming, they would find it. And apparently, they didn't really care, and they came down here. Yeah, well, so they would eventually leave from here, uh, but... They weren't there last night, Jim. When I came home, they're swarming the way you see them uh, It was a big cloud of bees. They were swarming around here. They were all through here, and I, like, ran into the house. Right. When I got home last night. Right. And then there was nothing back... And then they just... Yes. And then this morning, my wife went in the bathroom, and you could hear, like I said, you could hear her. And she looked out the window, and most of the people were holding it. A pile of bees on the ground, yeah. I think we're getting filled up here. <laughs> I got to get some more, uh, more combs in there, but I got down here as quick as I could to capture them. Uh... No, no, they're they're uh, they're so gorged with honey that it, it, it's hard for them to sting. They will sting, but it's not their first order of business. They're kind of a little bit calmer. A swarm is calm, more or less calm. You see these events on YouTube sometimes, uh, but and this is my first opportunity to actually film one and make it happen i'm telling you i that's a that was a massive swarm i saw a swarm the other night i don't think it was this one but i saw uh i saw a cloud of bees i went to get my camera i think and by the time i came back they were gone and i saw a little pile uh, in the trees and then they were gone the next day, but it wasn't it wasn't these, unless there was one, you know like a first and second stage of them. Yeah. They would eventually, I would think. I don't know why they chose to land on the ground. Usually they'll hang in a tree about within 75 yards of the parent colony. No, and then they send out scalpies to look for a place, but I had a lot of swarms this year, so there may not be any available apartments, you know. Uh, and, but usually then they'll build, they'll, wherever they're hanging in the tree, they'll start building comb there, and, but they won't survive the winter. Uh, they have to be in an enclosed place. 
I think I'm gonna have to get another box, run and get another box to get yeah, these guys. Uh, the wave, when I first got here, the wave coming across the ground. Yeah, was, it was, was moving. It was, actually, it was heading towards your house. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still look at all those bees. I mean, still that's ten to twenty thousand bees right there on the ground. You know. Uh, so I'm going to spray a little bit more lemongrass oil in there. Hi. Uh, and uh, maybe give them some more incentive to go in, maybe. Uh, I grabbed the wrong box. I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we're okay. How do they get around the back? That's what I want to know. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to film this, you know. I got one sting in the arm. A little one. Yeah, they were, I've gotten them before from them, and I don't go to the hospital or anything. Because it, it, you can tell it's not like a hornet or anything. It's just like an ouch. Oh, he's that many. That's done. They all, all of a sudden said, hey, I don't know. Get that guy. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Actually, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to help. But like I said, they're not really super on the defensive right now. They're more concerned with where's our next home. We'd all be in big trouble if they were. Yeah. I expected to see you show up at one of the ads. Yep. Yep. Well, I brought it with me just in case. Yeah, that's probably the, the bees that are at the end of their life, you know? Right. Yeah, they work themselves to death. I mean, these bees are relatively young bees right here. I guess that's pretty much what the, you know, swarm will do. They'll, they'll go with the younger bees. They'll leave. Not the, they're probably a couple of weeks old, but they're, they look pretty fuzzy. So she's a, she's around here somewhere. I don't. She may be inside already. I really don't know. I'm going to continue this on Facebook Live. Over and out.